Hey everybody, welcome back to Total War Warhammer with me, Redneck Einstein. As promised in the last episode, we are now at the battle with Tagasaki Ludenhorff and his many injured troops versus two sort of cohorts, two small armies of um, the Chaos Warriors. Now, I was going to fight the battle, but I don't think I'm going to. There's pretty much no chance of doing it, and it's just going to waste time, so I'm going to auto-resolve it. But... Before I go any further, I just wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to all of my um, sponsors on Patreon and all of my continued subscribers and all you viewers. It's really important that you guys watch, sponsor and support me. And I can't thank you enough. It's really keeping the channel going. So thank you ever so much, guys. All right. Unfortunately, I think we've lost Tagasaki in that battle. And we've got Lupio Huldorf with a small amount of troops here who's running away. There's no chance of defending that either. So let's retreat. <clears throat> or not, auto-resolve and die. Oops. Okay, so that being done, you can see the gradual, well, overwhelming force that's being put on our I, or on our lands by the Chaos Armies. Now, Midland has been completely obliterated now. Thank you, Chaos people. Tagasaki Ludenhorff is dead. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, we've still got this, or we've got this quest to deploy a witch hunter hero in the following province of Reichland. Now, in order to build a warrior priest dude, we need to build a certain building. And I'm trying to figure out how to do it, but we'll deal with that in a second. For now, let's deal with this. Elect agreed. So, we can take back increasing our leadership, but decreasing our public order. Or well, we can say, yeah, you rule, it's fine. And that means human conflict gets reduced by minus or minus 10. So it's not very good if we fight humans. But I don't think that matters particularly because we're not fighting humans anymore. We're fighting chaos people. And they're definitely not humans. So we get a boost to our treasury. All right, we'll say they rule for now. Now, here's all these chaos armies. And they are proving particularly tricky to actually get anywhere near if I chase after them. So, what I'm going to do, I think, is focus on... Yes, let's start with uh, Gal Maraz. So, we need to deploy a battle wizard hero in Ustamark. In order to do that, I need to build one building in particular. Which, if we go to building browser, is this. The Shrine of Sigmar. Which will enable me to recruit warrior priests. But I don't quite know where to build it because I don't think I want to demolish anything in Rheindorf. Or maybe we should. We could demolish our armory and then build that somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, so we need to build an armory somewhere else. So not Helmgar. Maybe an Isleheart. So if we demolish our farmland... Then we're going to build an armory there. Okay. In the meantime, let's recruit some more troops for our new army to replace, unfortunately, Tagasaki's. Um, and we can now build mortars, which is damn cool. So let's build two of those. And some Demigriff Knights. Let's get two of those. They're going to take four turns to recruit. And we've got Kodsbokka, who can... Sort of help me out, I think. Uh, his mission is the Silver Seal. So if we deploy him in Reichland, we will achieve that. So let's bring him back near Rheindorf and see how this plays out. Karl Franz's army is still in Weissmann. I'm going to leave him there to protect our most northern town. And we'll end our turn. I suspect the Chaos Armies might try and take over Weissmund. Um, it's a valuable place to have, I think. So we don't want to lose it. Okay, what can I do for you, Leoness? Military Alliance. Ooh, look, that means we're, they're sworn to support each other. So we have to support them and they have to support us. Seeing as we're taking the brunt of the Chaos Armies, I think we'll accept that offer. Thank you! Please send your armies into my territory and help me defend. <laughs> Look, here comes like four of them. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's send Konsbocker here. We'll deploy him. That should meet the quest Silver Seal. Ah, yes. And in Rheindorf, we're going to build the Altdorf Conclave of Battle Wizards. Or Shrine of Sigmar. 
So that enables me... Yeah, we'll go for the Shrine of Sigmar. And then... Yeah, it was Isleheart. We're going to build the Armory in now. Shrine of Sigmar. Blacksmith. Armory. Yes, yeah, so a Blacksmith. So three turns is going to take for both of those. And here's Carl Franz having to defend against all of these. Is it time? But they don't look particularly strong. Attack. Yeah, let's go to battle. With, we'll start with the first one. Now, this would be cool because we get to see um, Heinz Haldenstrat has that new ability where he can fire like a fireball at them. So I'd be, cur I'd be curious to see that. I mean, I know this battle we should win easily, but I just want to see that new ability. Um, we don't want to gamble with any wins. They've got reinforcing armies, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. I think what we'll do is get one group of crossbowmen. Oh, yes, we've got some hilly terrain, so let's put them there. And we'll get another group. Put them there, I think. No, there, because then they can fire across there. Um, yeah. Then we'll get our melee troops. And we'll place them there to engage the enemy first. And then we've got our Empire Knights, who can just wait behind, ready to attack. And then we've got Karl Franz and his friends. So I'm going to put Karl Franz with these guys. He can be part of uh, our third army. And then we've got Heinz Haldenstrat. Right, let's start the battle. And first of all, position some archers up here. We'll place some archers there. Now if we lock them, that will leave them in that formation. So three, and then these guys can go here in front. Yeah, and then Heinz Haldenstrack can come up here and fire his little missile thing at them. Yeah, and then my cavalry can come in from the trees. So, fast forward. There's Heinz Haldenstrat. Love it, mate. Where's that little missile thing you fired? There it is. Magic missile. Yeah, fire it at these guys. Hopefully we can tempt them into battle. Rather than us running after them. Let's see. Yeah, see, they've got some more guys over there. So I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Now, let's move them there, like so. There's his little light missile. Or his little... Oh, his little fire missile. That's rubbish. <laughs> Heinz, you suck, dude. Oh, well. Retreat a bit, mate. Get to the top of the hill. Okay. Are you coming after me or what? Come on, bring it. Or shall we march after them? What do you think, guys? Conditions acceptable. Lovely. Let's... Let's, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll put some arrowmen there and there. Great swords can go there. And leave my cavalry. Actually, my cavalry. My Empire Knights can get right to the top of this hill. Yeah, and then let's use Shim's burning gaze on these. Here they come, they're coming after us now. Might be an idea to just stand still then, guys. Uh, hang on, let's pause. So you guys wait there. You guys wait there. And then... Put all our melee troops in the front. Okay, Heinz Haldenstrat. Move back a bit. Yeah, that's it. Fire that light missile at them. Lovely. And we can use our net here. So let's pause them where they are. Fire! 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 And fire! There we go. Lovely jubbly. Heinz Haldenstrat, retreat! Here we go. Hey! They're sneaking in behind me. 
Turn around and shoot. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is epic. Hold the lines. Where's Where's Carl Franz? Opal amulet. Yeah, let's use that. And blood roar. Use that on these guys. Right, are you ready, Empire Knights of the Realm? Let's charge him from the side on their Chaos Marauders. Yeah, look, we're kicking their ass. Great swords, don't chase them. No need, no need. Let's position you there for when they come again. Ah, oh, here come the Empire Knights. Let's watch them zoom into battle. Charge! Hey, they're attacking Carl France. Retreat, Carl. Yeah, what have we got here? Light of battle, unbreakable. Yeah, let's make my guys unbreakable. Warriors fleeing already, you pussies. Charge, Empire Knights! Keep running. Hey. Hey, hold on a second. They're charging at me with little hounds. On my archers. Screw you. Heinz Haldenstrat. No, he's going to die. To rest to his rescue. Are they, are they leaving him alone? I think they are. Heinz! Or is he dead? He's definitely not dead. He's running around still. Oh, yeah, look. Look at Carl France with his giant wing beast. There you go, mate. You've got this. Spearmen, defend my archers. Let's move my archers back here. Okay. Well, we are winning. Oh, here come the Empire, Empire Knights running into their Chaos Marauders. Ba -ba 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 Boom! That's it, boys. Keep going. Carl Franz will use his Opal Amulet and his Hold the Line. No, hold on. We've got great swords here. We're not doing anything. Empire Knights, retreat. Get out of there. Wow, our battle lines are fail. <laughs> Crossbows ready indeed. Get to position then and fire. There you go. Let's get these halberdiers to defend against these Chaos Warhounds. The enemy lord is dead. That's definitely a good thing. What are the numbers looking like? Allied troop count. They're both decreasing quickly, but we're all good. I think. There's my Empire Knights. Come on, Empire Knights. Get out of there. Let's go provide these archers with some cover. Obstructed. Damn it, fire! Yeah, look at my Empire Knights charging and defend the uh, crossbowmen. Beautiful. Well done, lads. Now change focus and attack their marauder horsemen. My warriors are fleeing. You pussies. Go on, great swordsman. Defend against the Chaos Vorhounds. You will be stuck in battle against me. Look at these beasts. Oh, yeah. Flay your sword at them. Lovely jubbly. Oh, and they, they've got some little chariots charging in. All right, you lads come and take on their dudes there. I think uh, Heinz Haldenstrat is just given up. He's like, nah, man. This battle ain't for me. Yeah, let's harass. Carl France, you can fly along on your giant beastly monster and tackle the Marauder Horseman back there. And victory will soon be ours. Not a great victory, but a victory nonetheless. There it is. Just finishing off the final troops. And ta-da! Good job, Carl France. We're going to have to be a lot better than that, though. Ooh, I unlocked an achievement. Spells and skills and stuff. Awesome. So we lost 384. They lost a fair few more. Around about 500, I, I guess. A decisive victory. Ooh, yeah. Now let's 
execute their captives. There we go. Good job, Carl France. Ooh, a follower gained. Road Warden. Reduction in Vampiric and Chaos Corruption. And we killed Wolfric Blood Reaper. We gained a new weapon, Fencer's Blades. Nice. And our quest has been successful, deploying the Witch Hunter hero in the following province of Reichland. So, what's this then? The Silver Seal. The Witch Hunter reports that a mysterious woman was seen fleeing through a small hamlet to the east of Altdorf, though the informant only caught a glimpse glimpse of her retreating back in the faint moonlight, he swears that her steed was a thing of bone with a fell green glow about it. The witch hunter suspects her to be an agent of the undead. Stirland lies to the east of Reichland, and beyond it lies Sylvania, historically the centre of undead activity in the area, so the hunt should be directed there. I see. So, pay saboteurs to breach a dam in Stirland, flooding the region and slowing the thief. Or pursue her. Let's breach the dam. Ah, was well, successful. The expedition was a success, and the dam was breached. Parts of Stirland are flooded for five turns, but that cost us twenty-five hundred. All right. So now we've got a new quest. Trapped by the waters, the vampiress, for such she seems to be, has been brought to bay near a shrine of ill omen. She is raising an army of corpses to defend herself with. Win the following battle with Emperor Karl Franz's army. Aha, so that's over here. And as a reward, we get 1500 bonus experience and the silver seal. Which, aha, is unique. It increases melee defense, magic resistance, ward saves. It's got lots of good stuff there. And we need to head over there with Karl Franz's army to fight. Well, after that last battle, he's not in good shape to be doing, having another fight right now. I might continue chasing these guys. Let's auto-resolve that. Finish off one of them. And we'll execute whoever's left. Yeah, nice. And we've gained another weapon, Biting Blade. So, let's take a look at this new stuff that we've now got. So, his weapon currently is Shrieking Blade. Or we can give him the new one, Biting Blade. Or Fencer's Blades, which are uncommon. I'm going to give him them. That sounds better. Uncommon is definitely better. Um, the enchanted item is you being used. He's currently using Armor of Fortune. Hmm... Oh yeah, and we've probably got another follower we can use. So I think that would just boost his attack by plus seven. So let's give him the pit fighter. And I wonder if the same turn we can kill this guy. Ooh, ambush. Auto resolve. He ain't gonna survive. You're dead, son. <laughs> Enemy captured 64. Execute all of them. Yeah. Alright, good, good. Weapon gain, sword of battle, that's pretty much rubbish. Good job, sir! We've actually kicked their ass quite severely there. I think we ought to head back to Weissmund and heal up a little bit. And in the meantime... Yeah, we're still building the Shrine of Sigmar and our new blacksmith and armory. So, we can spend some money on these other towns. But what? Karaburg... I'm going to give them cattle pastures, I think. Primarily because we're making quite a lot of money already per turn. And that will increase my um, troop replenishment. Yeah, and then in Weissmund, let's build a guardhouse. So that will have a bit of defense there. And there's my little guy, Konz Bocker. So we can now move him. I think I'll move him up here somewhere to defend our territories. Let's try and assassinate that guy. 70% chance of assassination. That's pretty damn nice. Okay. Weissman, you can still build something. Yeah. You can have a clothier as well. So that'll increase some increase our income. And we'll Ah, Carl France also has another skill point, so what do we want? 
while he's currently flying around. Ooh, we can increase his melee attack from plus four to plus ten. That's damn good. Or his armor. Or what the hell is this new stuff? <gasps> Sigmar's ward, what's that? Missile resistance. Ah, we don't need that. Not yet. Rally. To rally the troops and bring them back to the fore, take strong leadership skills and an iron will. Plus 16 leadership. Effect range 40 meters. Instantly affects targets in area. So I guess that will bring troops back to him. An irrepressible. Wound recovery time minus one. You know what? I'm going to go for the irrepressible because we need to recover as fast as we can. So... Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll end our turn on a positive note, having fought back the Warriors of Chaos to quite a significant degree. I think that's three three armies we fought back with one of Carl Francis. Yeah, that's it, mate. You run away with your tail between your legs. Uh-oh, rebellion imminent in Midland. Uh-oh. Midland. So, minus six. So if we put Carl France in there... Puts it at plus two. Good. You chill out there for a few. And Kontzbock has decided to give up on his assassination attempt. All right, mate. Whatever. Um, Marienburg and Gorsel. They can still have some upgrades. So Marienburg, if we upgrade you to a coastal town, that'll give us a bit more public order. And we can't afford to upgrade Gorsal. So let's continue spending some money. Ah, we can't recruit these anymore. Yeah, because we don't have the, the um, armory anymore. That's fine. That's fine. Armor-piercing missiles. I kind of want some of these outriders. I think they could be very useful for attacking from behind the enemy. So let's get three of those. That's all we can afford. And end our turn. Remember, we're still trying to um, do that mission where we're going to be fighting off the witch and her armies that she's raising over in the east. Um, maybe a few turns before we can start heading there, though. Raiding by Sertha Blood Ice of Scaling within Gorsal, the Wasteland is affecting public order. Hey, get out of my lands, boy. I'm going to kick your ass. Um... Rindorf, how are you getting on? So one more turn until we build the Shrine of Sigmar. One more turn for the blacksmith. The reason that's important, let's just remind ourselves, is because we need to build or recruit a battle wizard hero to deploy in Ustermark. By the comet. Um, Kont Boka. Let's go up here and harass these. Assassinate. Only 46% chance, but I'll give it a go. I don't like what he's doing there. Hockland. Yeah, we're going aid Hockland. So, oh, Carl France now has room for some more troops as well. Hey, and he can build mortars. Empire's Let's build blessings, yes. two of those. And I think we need more melee troops. We're kind of running out. Let's get some spearmen with shields. Nice. So and these ones, yeah, they need more troops as well. What can we buy then? Can't afford too much. We'll get some more melee, I think. We'll get some spearmen with shields for those. One more. Nice. So our armies are increasing. We need to head over there, but not just yet. And we can end our turn. Brilliant. All right, I think I'm going to end the episode there, guys. It's been quite a positive one. I'm pleased to have fought back fair few of the Chaos Armies. It's not perfect, but um, I feel like doing that battle over in the East may be more important. To me, so I um, with your next words. Hello, Talabakland. What would you like? Ah, you want a non-aggression pact. I agree. We don't want to be fighting any men with the Chaos Armies on our doorstep. Um, yeah, as I said, that's the end of the episode, guys. Unless we get interrupted like this. Raiding. Yeah, fine. Ah, the Chaos Horde has poured in, a remorseless tide scouring all in its path. Yet even the most savage flood must eventually recede, leaving battered survivors to pick through the flotsam on ravaged shores. We are saved, they cry, heedless of the fact that tides are certain in one respect. They will always rise again. 
the old world has survived the onslaught, yet now another wave rolls forth from the accursed chaos wastes. Damn you. Ooh, under the dark moon's glare, your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens abroad, as if the shadow of some horned god was watching from the evil moon above. The army is fettered by Morsleep's glare. I think I'm going to spend a little bit of money, 1500 gold, to increase our war fervor. We'll improve the omens, if that's what they need. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. That is the end of the episode, finally. Um, please click the like button. If you want to support me on Patreon, please feel free from as little as a dollar of a month. Uh, li as little as a dollar a month and uh, send me any thoughts and tips and tricks you may have on my tactical ability <laughs> take care guys see you very soon